Hey guys, I'm back today making a, well finishing a card, kind of, that I started. I'm using the Honeybee Build a Bee stamp set, which is right there, and then the Honeybee Beautiful Sentiment stamp set. I'm bringing in the Beehive card honey cuts or die cuts. There's the card base on the right and the card panel on the left. Here are two doors you can add to the card you're making. Here are the bees I've already made. I did these bees in my chatty video. That's why I kind of said I'm finishing something I started. Um, if you haven't caught that video, I'll link it above. It's long and chatty, but that's where I colored them while I talked. So we are going to be using Wild Honey and Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide Ink. And this is Stampin' Up! Crushed Curry cardstock. And I'm die cutting all my pieces, my card panel, and my card base. You do need the extended plates if you have a Big Shot. I'll have those linked below as well. So here I'm just showing you how the card would go together. Um, before I forget, I do want to, oh, hold on. This is the Honey Bee Hive Stencils and Mask. It's a set of four. And I'm just kind of showing you what each of the stencils look like. Um, I have to do a lot of figuring out like what I want to do. This card is heavily inspired by Nicole Spore's card she made, I think, two years ago. Um, I know at least a year ago using, I don't know if she used the stencils, but I know she used the dies and the stamps. And I know she used like a yellow cardstock, so that's the reason why I brought in the crushed curry. I'm also using the two colors that she used of distress. She may have used distress ink, actually, not oxide. However, um, I didn't rewatch the video, so I'm kind of going off memory on what she did. And I really kind of wanted to do my own thing in a way without <laughs> copying her exactly, even though she was my inspiration. So I'm adding the wild honey to the cardstock using my blender brush. And it shows up better in person. It's a little light. It's lighter than I wanted, to be honest. Um, so I'm bringing in the gather twigs and I'm really kind of darkening it up, especially the edges to kind of give it some dimension. Um, I don't know if I use the stencils properly. They're, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, I don't know if I used them properly. So I'm, I'm really, if I think about it, I do want to go on YouTube and kind of find to see if there are any videos on how to use the stencils. Because I, with the layering, you know, there, there's four stencils. One is a mask. Um, I'm sorry, there's three stencils and then one's the mask. And um, I'm sure the proper way of using them creates really cool results. So I'm going back in with Wild Honey to kind of soften it up. And here I've used the circle door to cut out my door. It's very, I will say that this die, like here's my card base. The, the part where it's folded is very delicate. And even the door is very delicate. Like those pieces could easily shift and tear. So if you have this die or want to get it, just be careful of that. It is a little bit delicate. So you saw me add a pencil line to the bottom. And I'm adding gather twigs to the card base. I did the pencil line so I wouldn't go below that area. Because when I put my card panel, this piece, on, I didn't want the bottom to be brown. I just wanted the brown to be when the door opens like that. I'm going to go ahead and add my bees. This stamp set, I mean, it's so stinging cute. I love it so much. You can, you know, it's a build a bee. So you have all these bodies, you have all these faces, you have different wings, ears, antenna. I mean, just really sweet stamp set. I go ahead and pop up these two bees. And I'm trying, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to think, okay, where about my sentiment? I don't even know what sentiment I'm going to use. So where can I place these where it allows me room for my sentiment? And of course, you could do your sentiment all inside, but I did want something on the outside. So here I'm taking the Nuvo, uh, my Nuvo sparkle pen and adding some sparkle to the wings. I do bring in a Signo pen and add, of course, again, this is totally inspired by Nicole Spore. 
add some little dots with the cheeks, some highlights. It is hard to see on camera the cheek dots, <laughs> but um, it, it does show up in person. It's pretty cute. I go ahead and stamp out my sentiment with gathered twigs onto some crushed curry cardstock. I stamp the word hello again with gather twigs and then I cut my buzz and bite to say hi. I just cut it in half, pop it up and add it to the front and I cut it in half to just kind of allow room for so there wasn't a lot overhanging. I felt this card was missing something so I do go ahead and add the little buzz trails or whatever bee trails I don't know what you call them to the front and that completes the card. So I'm really pleased with how it came out. Definitely an adorable set. It's really sweet. Um, let me know what you think and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time. Bye!